So your, your, oh, I'm sorry. I was going to say your quest for uh, is still to, to, to get a belt is you kept it alive with that great victory that you had. Yeah, that's, you know, that's what I want. You know what I want? I know, you know, many things can happen, but I think, you know, I'm ready for the title and anytime, you know, I'm going to fight, you know, I can fight for that. So uh, I'm already training a uh, little bit and easy, but I want this chance. How do you think this main fight is gonna go? I think Rob is the favorite, but it's it's, a, it's tough to pick. You know, it's like they asked me last time against you know uh, Chris and, and Luke, and I said, you know, I, I I think Chris is the favorite, but Luke is pretty tough and can go either way. So, you know, I I made a mistake in that one, and you know maybe I can make again. But I think you know Rob is the favorite, but it's a pretty pretty close fight. You asked for the title shot, so how is the co conversation is going right now? Did Eduardo talk already? Then yeah, he's, he's talking to them. Uh, you know, what I see is just like, Corey has a fighting coming up, you know, he just fought for the title, Hendrix has a fighting, and pretty much there is me and uh, Woodley, you know? So, I think I deserve to fight for the title, and you know, uh, I'm asking for that because that's the way you get the, the chance, you know. You gotta fight, you gotta do well, but you gotta ask if you want the title, you really need to, to push for that. And that's where I, you know, once you do in my style, not so loud, but I wanna, I wanna fight for the title. But Roy is expected to fight Hector Lombard, right? Yes. Uh, is that fight not happening, or is that uh, you just wanna fight with Roy, regar Roy regardless of what happens with that fight? With who? Roy. Yeah. Roy. yeah. No, no, I wanna, Fight with Hori? I, didn't, I never, didn't say that. Uh, Roy, uh, Roy McDonald? Uh huh. That's the guy you want to fight, right? No, 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 no. I want to fight for, for, I've said, I want to fight for the title. You know, I want to fight with who wins tonight, Lawler or Condit? Not Hori. I fought with Hori like a couple of years ago. You know, it was fight of the night. I lost in a close fight and then he fought for the title after that. But he's, he, you know, I want to. I want to fight for a title. Okay. How many times have you ever looked back at the title fight that you had in the past, and what would you change this time around about maybe the way you prepare, or uh, was it mental preparation or, or physical preparation? It's you just, felt? you know, I just feel that now I'm much more ma mature than last time, you know. That was almost six, six years ago, you know. It was April 2010. And, you know, in this time frame, you know, you change completely. Especially, I am a guy who likes to learn, who likes to, you know, I love the sport. I love jiu-jitsu, I love MMA, and I love to learn every day. And that's why I keep going, you know, I keep fighting and I keep evolving. And so, from, you know, six years from now, I'm totally different. And in that fight, I came to the fight with a totally underdog, as a totally underdog. And if I go to the fight again, even if, you know, I'm not the favorite, you know, everybody will know that I, I got a chance to win. Everybody will know that if I take the, the, the fight, you know, to the jiu-jitsu world, to the ground, you know, I got a chance to win and a big chance. And I believe that. How do you what, think you map? That's pretty much what I was going to ask is how do you feel about uh, whether you face, if you get the opportunity to face fight for the title, who do you feel you match up better against, Carlos Condit or Robbie Long? It's a tough question, you know, to ask. I'm, I've been asking myself a lot about that. Mm -hmm. And to be, to be true, you know, to be true, I don't know the answer, you know. <laughs> I've I mean, been asking myself, I said, okay, Robbie, he has really heavy hands. It's very dangerous all the time. And he has a good take down the fence. At the same time, you know, Cody, he, he's, he's a stand-up. You know, he has a good jiu-jitsu also. I saw him play like bottom game in his fight against George St. Pierre. And also, he has a very tricky game stand-up, like the knee he did to Don Hyun King and this kind of things. He's very versat versatile, you know. So it's hard to, to train for a guy like that. So, you know, I've been asking this question for me, like I said, and I don't know the answer. Did you train something in your schedule, like in your camp? Because you're 38 right now, right? Yes. So, did you, 
I, I mean, you're getting older, yeah. but you're still still winning. Yeah. So did you change something to avoid like injuries and? Yeah. Uh, I never was a guy who get too much injuries. You know, beside that thing I had in my shoulder and some staph infection that I had, I never had like, you know, besides some infections, I never had really like serious injuries in my life. And I don't know. I always when I train, I protect myself and. Since, since I was a kid, I'm like that, you know, since I started to train martial arts, since I was playing football in Brazil, I remember, you know, I was taking care of, I never got hurt, you know, many of my friends, you know, in Brazil, everybody plays football in the street, in the school, and many of my friends, they get hurt all the time, and I never got hurt, I was like, I always think about, you know, the positions that I can get hurt, and I always protect myself, maybe that's why, you know, it's my style, and I don't know, so... That's why, because you know, I keep evolving. Because I think, as I don't get too much, too many injuries, you know, just small ones, I can keep, you know, training hard and you know, and learning, and and I like to learn. And jiu jitsu is a very mental thing, you know. You you get a thousands of position every day. I go to the gym, and some students they show something new, and for me, that's amazing. That's something that you know will make me keep training till I die. There's a story that Metamorius was trying to make you fighting uh, Nick Diaz. Yes. And he said no. Uh, yeah, that's just last week or this week. Last week, yeah. And my manager, Eduardo Alonso, was talking with, with Halleck, right? And Nick, you know, they, they, they offer us to fight Nick Diaz. And I said, okay, let's go. It's nice. You know, for a long time I don't fight in Jiu Jitsu rules. And yeah. Nick, it's. Yeah, yeah, of course, as long as UFC allowed me to fight, but uh, I think Nick is, is a great fighter and he gives a lot of promotion to the fight and that's that's important for me, you know, for everybody. And he's, he's you know, a good good opponent, a real opponent. And for me, it would be nice to, to fight in jiu-jitsu rules, you know, don't worry about punches and kicks, you know, it's, it's, it's good sometimes, you know, and uh, would be like... The last time I fought Jiu-Jitsu was in 2007, so many years ago. So what happened with that? What happened with that? Uh, they just they just said that he he turned he turned. Yeah, but we don't know the reasons. We don't know the reasons, you know. We don't know what happens. They just say that uh, he's not fighting. You know, I didn't talk, we didn't talk to anybody in his camp. We just talked with with uh, the guys at Metamorphs, and I said that. Not now, you know, he's not fighting. So I don't know the reasons, but you know that you know that's if I have the opportunity it would be good if if we it fits with my schedule, you know, my USC schedule which for me is the the most important thing. So I think what I was getting at earlier is that you, you, you want to fight for the title next. That's yes. going on tonight. Uh -huh. um, but there's other welterweight contenders out there, like Woodley is supposed to get the next title shot. Yeah. And there's obviously uh, Rory and Hector, as I mentioned before. Uh -huh. If they don't give you the title shot uh -huh. right off the bat, will you accept a bout with somebody else? Of course. You know, I have... I I, I got to accept, you know. I... I yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I want to fight with somebody that takes me to the title, you know, uh, if I win. So I think the fights would make more sense would be Woodley or uh, like Matt Brown, who is, you know, tied with me near, you know, in the rankings and, and Woodley also. So uh, that's the fights that would make more sense. But of course, you know, if I can choose today, I will say I do want to fight. Those guys, I want to fight for the title, but you know that's my. Answer. How long are you willing to wait for that, though? You know this fight, this fight tonight. You know these guys could be on the shelf for a little while. So, are you willing to sit on the bench for for eight months and wait for a title fight, or do you want to get back in there as soon as possible to stay fresh? Eh, you know, for the title, I would do everything, anything. You know, for the title, if they say, okay, let's sit and wait, I will sit and wait because I know it's was was. Mas fala uma vez na vida? Once in a lifetime opportunity, so I would see no problem. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you.